Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I need to stop looking in the viewfinder and I need to start looking into the lens. This is my first time recording a video, a makeup video, with my new camera. So, no more little weird flashy light bits from my overhead lights. Unfortunately, the lighting is yellow. But yeah, I'm in my bathroom, so that means makeup video, which no one asked for this. <laughs> I was just like, you know what? I want to film a Slytherin inspired makeup look. So jumping right into it, I'm not going to talk a lot about the products I use because you know me, most of the products I use are going to be the same throughout every video. But I always do try to let you guys know if I do have something new. Unfortunately, today I don't think I have anything new. But what I do have is a clean beauty blender, which I haven't had in the last couple makeup videos. So why the hell did I decide to do a Slytherin house inspired makeup tutorial? Well, <laughs> let me tell you. I've been going down the rabbit hole of reading Harry Potter for the first time, which I know what you're thinking. Ashley, where have you been for the last, what, 15 years? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've seen the movies like 20 times over. I love them and I got the book set last Christmas and I'm finally now sitting down to read them and I'm actually, I wanted to do this look because A, I've been reading the books um, and Slytherin is my house and it's been my house even before I read the books and but I also wanted to review the books on my channel. I'm planning on drawing Possibly drawing a snake on my face. We shall see. I don't know if I want it to run down like this Or I don't know. Wow, my my foundation went on patchy today. I can just cover everything up with concealer, right? So yeah, I'm currently a couple chapters into Chamber of Secrets, which if anyone was wondering my favorite um, Harry Potter movie is Half-Blood Prince. The books I'm looking forward to the most is uh, Goblin of Fire because I've heard from several people that the movie adaptation is horrendous. Probably seen um, the first three movies like 20 times over and the rest I've seen a handful of times maybe. Um, I used to watch at least the first three movies um, when they used to have the marathon days on uh, ABC Family, which is now Freeform. I always catch the first three films in the morning to like afternoon. I think everyone can agree that the first movie was done great in terms of keeping close to the original book. And I'll obviously touch on this more in my review video about the differences and the similarities. I don't understand where my love for Harry Potter came from. Like I said, I've seen the movies so many times. But I never had friends that really were like super into Harry Potter. My one best friend is like anime or die. All my other friends though were either didn't care about reading in general or were super into Twilight. And I never got into Twilight, which is ironic because I'm like fucking obsessed with anything vampires. I binged the fuck out of Vampire Diaries when they only had like five seasons out. I've seen all of the originals. I've I'm caught up on legacies. I love Vampire the Masquerade, whether it be the video game or the or the tabletop role-playing game. But I've never I've never read Twilight. I can't say I haven't seen the movie. I've seen the first movie. And then every other movie I've seen through a review of someone else. Oh my god, this eye pencil is tragic. It's also fitting that I'm using Harry Potter wand brushes. But anyway, back to Twilight. What an idiot. Yeah, I never really got into it, so. I remember having a friend who was obsessed. Like she would literally come in to school and run up to my other friend and be like, are you caught up in Twilight? Did you read it? Like, what chapter are you on? Like, what book are you on? Like, just, and I never knew anyone that was like that intense with Harry Potter. Like, I would always ask people like, oh, what's your house, you know? And I'm a Slytherin in a household full of Gryffindors. Please help me. With reading the Harry Potter book, I found a new love for Harry Potter. I like now understand why everyone was so obsessed. You never hear a lot of the stuff that's talked about in the movies. 
So I never understood why so many people knew like such amazing detail about Harry Potter. Like a good example of it is I never knew what a prefect was. Many hours later. Okay, hi, I'm back. <laughs> it is now one o'clock in the morning. My camera died. I started filming this at 11.30 and I had to wait till one o'clock in the morning for it to charge. So <laughs> let's just continue, shall we? <laughs> As I mentioned before, I haven't read the books. Um, but I do basically know everything that happens, which you think would be a bummer, but honestly, I'm really fucking excited to actually, like, read it. I don't know how much, like, frequent my reviews are going to be, um, because have you seen how ginormous Order of the Phoenix is? Like, the uploads for those are probably going to be pretty sporadic, because I don't want to just read the book to do the video and not have to feel like I have to rush myself to read it to make a video. I mean... Eh, this is gonna get covered up with green anyways. Honestly, at this point, am I going for a Slytherin look or a Death Eater look? I really don't know. Wow, I hate it. It doesn't look good on camera, but like, it doesn't look terrible, IRL. So now, I'm going to attempt to use a green glitter eyeshadow in this lovely wizardry and witchcraft palette that I talk so highly of. It's not as glittery as I had hoped. But I think it still gives a good effect. Yeah, like something, something needs to be blended more. You know what? I'm just going to move on to eyeliner. I don't feel like dealing with it right now. So I'm going to put some blush on. I'm going to do some e-girl blush. Everything is coming up so darker in this camera and I don't know why. I can guarantee you everything I'm putting on my face is not as harsh as the camera is picking it up. I also haven't done my makeup in like two months. So, I'm gonna blame it on that. <laughs> I'm gonna just do the rest off camera and I'll see you back for the final look because I feel like I'm just gonna have a crisis. And we're back. <laughs> Here's how the eyeliner turned out. So, yeah, not bad. I honestly like it a lot more now with the eyeliner and mascara on. Um, you're probably wondering why I don't have lipstick on. I forgot my dumb ass wanted to put a snake on my face. Okay, so wow, I hate that. Got it. Stop it. Get some help. You know what? I'm going to do black lipstick. I'm going to figure out what to do from there. That was honestly one of the easiest and cleanest black lipstick applications I've had. I'm going to scrap the whole stick thing. I have neither the artistic ability nor the equipment. <laughs> a little green highlighter, which is fitting. I think with that, our look is done. Um, I will insert some pictures of the look in like better lighting. I just realized I either look like I'm going for a goth poison ivy look or I'm a Weasley trying to sneak into a Slytherin party. <laughs> I don't hate it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, be sure to hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and click the notification bell to get notified every time I make a new video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!